that was fast. We got ourselves a 12% down day in UUU, as well as 9% and 7% down days in URNM and URA ETFs, respectively. And we were looking for a downside setup to develop. And this is a great start. This is what you want to see if we are going to have that lower low for our C wave. Last week, we uh, covered how this sector has potentially a pretty good long term setup. Hadn't done any updates in this in a few months. And if anything, we do have a short setup developing. We're looking for a deeper C wave. In our last update, we talked about how we went pretty deep. We had a three wave pullback in all three of these securities, but didn't quite go deep enough for a standard. Second wave, that would be a 38.2% retrace. In this purple box, we didn't make it there for any of these. And uh, well, that would mean that unless we saw a clear five wave rally from that bottom that we hit around January 24th, very good chance that we have a B wave fake out. And it's looking like that may very well be the case. When we zoom in a bit more closely, here's UUUU. And this to my eyes looks like an A and a B and a C. The C could subdivide into five waves, potentially maybe you got a one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And the pullback on the backside of this thing that we're in now, this is that red candle. Looks a bit more nuanced here, a little bit more detailed. And well, could be three waves down. That could be all we get. And uh, if we rally back past the top, that could be all we get. This could actually be a second wave maybe, but it's really hard to count this as five up. Otherwise, this is a one, two, three, and we're looking for a fourth wave consolidation, maybe a small bounce up and a lower low. The same goes for the URNM ETF, which is North Shore, North Shore Global Uranium Mining ETF. It's the same setup, A, B, C potentially. Maybe it's a double zigzag, not sure. It definitely is not impulsive. At best, it could be a leading diagonal, five waves up, but leading diagonals are often not trustworthy because, well, they can easily be confused with some kind of corrective bounce, like a zigzag, anything like that. Look at this thing, same kind of thing, A, B, C maybe, maybe it's a one, two, three, four, five. Either way you cut it, point is there's no impulse here. So this looks corrective and sharp pullback is looking the same across all three securities. When we zoom back out, here's what we're looking at here. We got our B wave bounce. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer just to give you guys a bit more resolution here. We got that A, B, C going up. That's what we're just looking at on the small term picture. And we got this cliff dive potentially get a bit of a sideways consolidation for the next day or two. Maybe a bounce up could be sharp. And I expect a slightly lower low. If that happens, I would be counting that as our first wave down the C wave. C waves always come in five wave patterns. And when I say always, there's always a chance that you have a double zigzag. But in that case, you wouldn't have a C wave. You would have a Y wave. So very rare. Don't expect that. So for that reason, we either expect a First wave down, second wave up, third wave down, which should be pretty strong. Fourth consolidation of five, fifth wave down into our box down low. So obviously it's a bit out of proportion the way I've drawn it, but I expect something to look kind of like this. And the C wave, the third wave goes all the way down there. Fifth wave here, there is a chance you see an ending diagonal kind of situation. I expect our first wave to go a bit lower in that case. Relatively sharp bounce. Third wave would probably go pretty low too. Pretty sharp retrace in the fourth wave. And then maybe our fifth wave looks something like that. Anything like that. You'd see a lot of whipsaw, a lot of retraces. We've actually seen exactly this in the S&P 500, where our C wave that started earlier this year has taken some ridiculous turns. It's just been a nightmare for longer term traders or intermediate term. If you're a day trader, maybe there's some lucrative opportunities there. So anyway, you cut it, we're looking at this to be a, some kind of an impulsive first wave down. Should be five waves. We have a bounce. And our short side setup would be from here, this would be where you would buy your puts. If we get a three-way bounce, you expect to see an A, B, C up. That's, of course, the four U's, Uranium, uh, Energy Fuels Incorporated. In the other in the two ETFs, the setup is almost identical. I don't have any retracement points drawn here, but typically you would expect us to fall somewhere within the subway four of the previous larger structure. So if I draw what we have here, our retrace would look something like this. I'm actually going to zoom out just a bit, give us a bit more uh, leg room here. So this one obviously would be similar to some extent. I would expect us to fall to about 38.2%. That would be about $51 for this, as low as $33. All these are well within range of this ETF dropping. And URA, if I can draw something more, because a uh, bit more history on this one. So if I draw the retracement points on this, 
I'm going to put this on the two hour view, FIB extension tool, base it on the start of the rally and 38.2% retrace would fall right about at 1760, 1761. Could fall as low as, where is that, about 1235. So anywhere within this territory would be fair range for a C wave. And as I was demonstrating earlier, it would fall in the form of a uh, five wave pattern. So if you are looking to short, you could start shorting. If you already got in a short position, please make sure to use stops, maintain your uh, risk management tools. So uh, if we beat that high that we hit right before this drop, if we exceed that, that's a good time to stop out. That's the wor like worst case scenario. Otherwise, you could hold for the second wave retrace. As I did mention, I do expect a little bit lower before we have a bounce. And then we should have a pretty good cliff dive after that. Now, how this will correlate with the crypto space, with metals, with stock market, the S&P 500 is yet to be seen. We've seen divergence in this, uh, in this complex from the S&P 500, despite the fact that these are all definitely equities. They did coincide with the everything crash of 2020. Uh, a lot of the structure looks similar. This thing seems to have rallied almost in lockstep with the S&P 500. Um, we rallied at the same time, topped at the same time. So do not be surprised if we don't get that lower low after all. We're going to see what happens. I, uh, I'm expecting us to see a bit lower possibly in the S&P 500. Uh, I think I have hinted I'll be doing some analysis on the Dow just to give us a better understanding of some of these correlations, any, any inflection points that might align. So that'll be the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, going to see if it aligns with the stock market. If we do get a lower low there, you could see a colossal pullback. Or maybe you see a bit of a bounce and then this thing could pull back while the S&P diverges and takes off. We don't know yet, but that's about where we're standing right now. So don't get too excited about shorting just yet. Let's wait for a better setup. And I'll very likely have some, uh, some put plays demonstrated here. What strikes, what expirations, where to stop out. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And uh, don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed my video. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.